What up, everyone? So we've got Super Geek Box here. And I really like this box. This has become like one of my more favorite boxes. I think this has turned out to be a really good company. Um, I like their style, and I like what they're doing. So, so far, so good. But let's take a look at this box, and let's talk about this one specifically. So, first off, we got a t-shirt. And I must commend Super Geek Box on their t-shirts in general. Like, they really have picked out some great ones and designed some great ones. Um, on a side note, I just got the September uh, Super Geek Box today, and I was so pleased with the shirt choices on there. But we'll talk about that when we get to it. Anyway, this one. So we got a, cl Oop, we got a cloud t-shirt, and it says Vengeance on the side. So this is actually a really cool design. And the funny thing is... Um, as far as I can tell, I, I don't think it's a crossover, so I, I may just not be seeing it. Maybe it's a little more subtle than I thought, but I like the style of what they do. They do this, like, thick um, black outlines to their characters, and it's not a solid outline. They do, like, a perforated, like, cut, the lines come to, like, points, and they get thicker and thinner, so they have a really nice art style in the way they design it. So I'm not sure who their t-shirt designer is, but it seems like the same person. <clears throat> I can kind of see the consistency of the style as I look at their shirts throughout. And it seems like the same person, or at least the same team. So, and I really like it. I think whoever it is, they're doing a great job. So, it really fantastic. So, I, I really like this shirt. So, I, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Like, this is, this is fantastic. Um, it is on, it's on the Gildan Soft style. So, it's a, um, I think this is pre-shrunk or something like that. So, it's a little bit softer. Um, but yeah, really nice shirt. Um, if I, if, when I hear back from you guys, if everyone else likes it, I might actually give it a higher rating than that because it's very nice. Like, um, for such a long time, there's every shirt that came in a box was absolute shit. And people tell me, like, I'm too critical against certain companies or something like that. But here's, like, here's what I'm talking about. That I'm critical com to companies because it is possible to do a good job. It is possible to do, like, nice quality shirts. They don't have to be shit, so... For the longest time, they were. They were all shit for like the first six months of my video. So it's really nice to see these companies developing and putting out like really good products. So I'm very happy about that shirt. I genuinely enjoy it. Next, <clears throat> we got a figure. Now this I was very bummed to see. So you may recognize this, this Hulk plushie. I got this in Power Up Box. This came in my Power Up Box and it was Hulk. So I've said this before and I'll say it again. Um, companies need to be situationally aware. They need to be aware of what other boxes are putting out and what kind of products have been put out in previous, like, from other companies in previous months and things like that. Um, I think they're pretty good about it. And I was going to say this is a bad choice, but then I realized something I didn't get in Power Up Box, this little paper, that showed that there actually were other choices. So you could have gotten any of the Avengers. You could have got Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, or Thor. So it's just my bad luck, as per usual, that I got Double Hulk. So I'm super bummed about that, that I got two of the same one, because I really like these. They have a very nice style, and they look really cool. I, I genuinely like these little plush figures, like plush dolls, whatever you want to call them. I think they're really nice. So, so I'm not going to uh, count it against them for putting something another box did, because you did have other options. So I can't like ding them too much for that, because I'm sure they did know that Power Up Box put it in. But since there were more than one choice, that, that I guess it's not, I, I guess I can't count it against them. But I really wish I had gotten a different one because they're really cool. So if anyone wants to trade, I got Hulk. If anyone wants to trade out there, I'll totally trade Hulk for like Iron Man or something like that. So let me know. But anyway, uh, very nice little plushies and I, I, I like them. I think that's a very good choice. Good quality. Next, <clears throat> we got another item that was also a duplicate. So this one is a Ryu keychain. So you press the little thing here. I haven't pulled out the tab, but you press it and he does a little Hadouken sound and he lights up. So this is a very cool keychain. I genuinely like this. Um, this came in my geeky goodies, but again, I'm probably not going to count it against the box again because this did come in a different box, uh, but it was a long time ago though. I think it might have been like January or, or December or something like that when my geeky goodies did it. So. Um, the odds of someone having that box and this one now are pretty slim, so I'm not going to count it against them. Like, not all people are as crazy as I am getting this many boxes for this long, so I'm not going to uh, count it against them um, on that. So, 
But, um, so it's just a bummer for me though, because I already got it. But regardless of me, it is a very nice keychain. I think it's very cool. It lights up, it makes a cool sound, and I have mine uh, set up on a shelf here somewhere, like, because I, I genuinely liked it. And it's the 8-bit Ryu, it's it's really cool keychain, so I thought that was a good choice too. Next, so this looks familiar, and people were telling me about this, because um, this came in 1UP box as well, or something very similar to it. It's obviously a Dragon Ball. Super Geek Box did the three star, and One Up Box did the four star Dragon Ball. But um, you got a Dragon Ball stress ball in both boxes. Uh, one Up Box was a little bit smaller and it came in a package. This one's bigger. Why the these boxes are so similar to this day? I don't understand. Um, as you know, they used to be the same company, so they're similar. But things like this that are like so exactly the same, it's like. Why, why aren't they more aware of each other and what they're doing and is, are they like is one of them stealing ideas off each other so this one I'm gonna say well, like this is taking it too far you got some duplicate items were acceptable to get those other ones but this one it's like one up box did it the same month and it's like the same kind of thing like you honestly do you ever need more than one stress ball let alone more than one dragon ball stress ball like nobody needs two of those so uh, the good news is this is just filler, so it doesn't make a huge difference anyway. But like I said, they, they do need to be aware of. Um, hopefully, they're not just like stealing ideas from One Up Box. I hope that's not the case. But if they're not, they do need to be more aware of like what other boxes are putting out um, in, in different months. So again, not a big deal because like it, it's just a stressful anyway. But just things to note. Then we got a nice patch. We got the Triforce symbol from The Legend of Zelda. I don't know how I'm going to get this to focus. There we go. So a nice big patch and a nice little plastic wrap. So this is cool. Um, I don't use patches on uh, patches too much, but this is like the nice iron-on one, so I'm sure I could put that on something, like spice up a jacket or something like that. So cool, nice little patch. Then we got some candy. This is also Legend of Zelda, so we got the Legend of Zelda shield. So this is something that 1UP Box is uh, known very well for. They're constantly putting in tins with candy, which I don't mind at all because one, it's fucking candy and I love candy, so that works. And also it always comes in a collectible tin, so you can put it on display if you want. I'm gonna eat the shit out of this candy right now. If I can open this fucking thing. Oh my god, give me your candy. Here we go. Oh, so the only bad thing about it is usually they come in like shapes. Usually it's in like specific shapes, but this is just like a plain little little white circle. Not really special. Focusing. Focus. Focus on me. Do it. Do what I say. There we go. So yeah, this is just a little white circle. So that's, that's kind of weird though. Because usually in these tins, the candies are in the shape of like whatever theme it is. Again, not a big deal. Like no one really cares, but that's just weird. So they're mints, mint flavored candy. That works. I like it. Then the last item. This is a tattoo. Uh, just your like standard like water stick on tattoo. But this is cool. So this was um, what did they call it? Spirit of War tattoo. Now I was actually trying to figure out where this was from, and I could not figure it out. Um, I think it's from a game. But you guys will have to let me know on there because I did not rec- I know I've seen it somewhere, but I could not put my finger on where it's from. And I know it's super obvious. But either way, it is cool. It's a cool symbol. And it's, like, cool to have, like, temporary tattoos. So, I really like it. They did put their logo on it, which they are- they do a lot. But the great thing about it is it's a tattoo, so you could just cut that right out. So you don't have to have the logo. So, these are situations where it's okay to put the logo. These are acceptable. That's what I'll accept and be okay with. And, yeah, I actually don't think they put their logo on the shirt now that I'm thinking of it. I honestly didn't really take a good look. Yeah, no logo on the shirt. That's great. So that's awesome because last month, was it last month? Or one of the months before, they had their logo a little bit too big. So, that, again, that's great that they're taking suggestions and fixing that because there are times where logos are appropriate Never wanted, but acceptable in times where they aren't. So I'm glad to see they're not doing that with the shirt. That's a great thing. I'm so happy about that. That's honestly a big deal. I think that may get a better rating on the shirt now. But anyway, that was all the items in the box. Let's go back to the box.
talk about some value, and give it a rating. So first, the shirt. Since I've been doing the video and thought about it, you know, I think this is going to get an 8.5. I think I'm going to bump it up. They didn't put their logo. As far as I can tell, it's not a crossover. The quality seems nice, and it's a badass design. Like, I, I love Cloud. I think he's such a cool character. And I think other people do, too. Um, I think most people would recognize him, maybe not everyone. But, yeah, I think this deserves a, a really nice score. I genuinely like this shirt. But let me know what you guys think about that, and maybe I'll adjust it. But yeah, I, I think that deserves an 8.5 for that. I think that's great. And I think it's awesome they're not putting their logo all over it. So, awesome shit. That works for me. Then, our little Hulk plushie. These go for about 10. Um, you can find them online for around that, especially since it's appeared in two boxes. Um, someone was saying there's a website where they're sold like 12 to 15, but I, I found it pretty easy for around 10. So, maybe a little more. So, a general $10. It may be a few dollars more, but pretty close to 10. So there's that. Hulk. Then the Ryu keychain. This is actually very nice because like I said it's an LED and it has a sound effect and it's cool looking. So this is actually like an 8 to 10 dollar keychain because it's very nice in quality. It has some electronic use to it and it and it's lights up so it's very useful. It's very cool and I think everyone will like this. Hopefully you're not as crazy as me and don't have it from months before but it, it, very nice and I think everyone will like it. So 8 to 10 on that. Then, the patch. So this is actually a good size patch. Um, it's not branded or in a nice package or anything, but it is good quality and it has a good size. So I'm gonna say like three to four dollars on this because the good thing about this, like they, they're steering away from, they're not putting their logo all over it. One Up Box was the same way, logos on everything, especially the patches. So nice to see their logo not on the patch for once. So around three to four dollars, I think would be a good price. Then the candy. Comes in a tin, so it's two to three. Candy's normally like a buck, but since it comes in a collectible tin, two or three dollars. Then, the tattoo. Um, this is going to be like a buck, like uh, maybe a dollar or two, but even that's excessive, but around a dollar for something like this size, maybe a little more. So that's why I said like a dollar or two, but it is very cool. Uh, I really like the size of it. I think it's a really cool tattoo, and I'm totally going to put it on later. I like it. Then, the ball. So, same thing, a buck or two. Like, honestly, I think a dollar is reasonable, but um, I'd always give the range like a dollar or two, but right around a buck. I think this is like a dollar store item. I could see this going in the store for a dollar because it's not branded and it's not in any spe special packaging, so uh, a buck or two. So, <clears throat> that being said, with the value on this box on the low end is 37, and on the high end, 42. So right around double your value. Um, so in previous boxes, we got a little bit more than that, but double, like, that's perfect. That's absolutely great. That's what you're shooting for, and that's what it's worth. So it kind of depends on where you live, uh, how much more you're getting. Me, in California, I have to pay California state tax, so this box is about 20 bucks for me. But other people, it's only about 18 If that's the case, you're getting actually more than double, so that's pretty cool. So uh, a rating on this box... I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'm pretty pleased with this box. I think they had really good choices. Um, it's, um, it's unfortunate for me that I got some duplicates, but I'm not going to let that affect the score. Uh, I think the plush figure was a great choice. I think they did a good job in the style. Keychain was awesome. I'm going to wear the tattoo. Like Everything about it was great. And the t-shirt was really nice. They have really good designs and very nice quality. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed by this company and how good they've been doing. So. And it's one of the cheapest boxes out there, so you really can't go wrong. So I'm very pleased with it. I think the 8 out of 10 is more than well-deserved. But let me know what you guys thought about all the items in this box. So this has been Super Geek Box. Box, 8 out of 10. Shirt, 8 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. Love you all. Peace.